How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we've got an expensive boy here, overpriced perhaps, well most likely, yeah. Marcelo Flashback. Of course, today is Team of the Season La Liga. We've got the Team of the Season La Liga and some sensational cards in there. So if there's anyone that you do want me to review, ASAP, I'm talking like today, tomorrow, the next. Lads, you know what I'm saying, get them in the comments and get me basically on the case of doing that review. But today we're going to look at Marcelo because... He's very, very expensive, and I thought, you know what, let's just review him for you guys. Let's see what he has to offer, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people on this game, they'll probably look at that price and say, you know what, let's just get a Mendy. Dudes, fill on Mendy's, um, that cards, that's good. For birthday, I think it is, he's a million plus, I believe, right now. His price actually... It just rocketed ever since, like, the top 6 p.m., basically. Uh, the tots was revealed and the flashbacks, etc. It says his price went into, like, the million marks. So, um, you're going to have a look at Marcel at this. So, if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you comment in the comment section below who you do want to see reviewed. You would have seen a few in the starting lineup. Suarez, Lorenzi, even Rodrigo. I did actually Rodrigo because he gives a perfect link to uh, said Marcelo. So, let's have a look at Marcelo, boys. High low work rates. Not always the best for fullback, and I'm just going to say this because if you catch, basically, lads, what happens is if he's far up the fields, maybe on a counter-attack, and you lose the ball, he's not going to put everything into uh, coming back and getting back into position. That is basically what the low defensive work rates causes him to do. Uh, of course, he's got five-star skills, four-star weak foot as well. Uh, sensational in-game stats, man. I mean, I've got an anchor cam style on him, uh, and I couldn't be happier with uh, the anchor on him. Uh, he's got 92 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Fantastic for Marcelo. Now, if you catch your mind back, so I think it was last year, Marcelo did get a flashback. Wasn't a good card. Was a terrible card. And this one's actually done him justice when it does come to stats. Attack position 87, finishing not so great. Shot power is fantastic at 87. The rest of his shooting stats, oh, it's terrible to be honest. Uh, he's got 90 vision, a 97 cross, 93 short pass, 89 long pass, and 97 curve. For those passes down the line, that will be imperative. And I'm talking, if you play him fullback with wingers, basically, ahead of him. So you can basically just... Yeah, through boards down the lane and get plays in behind defences. Dribbling-wise, I mean, this wouldn't look out of place on a cam. You know what I'm saying? 88 agility, 90 balance, 87 reactions, 96 in terms of ball control, with 94 dribbling and 87 composure. Fantastic stats right there. Plus, you've got to take into consideration that he does possess the five-star skill. So, again, you can use him whenever you guys want. And it could get you out of some sticky situations, especially the fake Rabona, which, again, I probably would recommend doing in certain situations. Defending stats, physical stats are sensational with this card, man. 95 interceptions, 86 head and accuracy, 84 defensive awareness. Could have been better, but it doesn't really matter, lads, because of his terrible defensive work rate. Uh, 91, a stance, I could win 94 slides. Uh, 88, jumping, fantastic for the back post. Given that he's 5'9", uh, uh, he does win headers on this game, so that's very good, and that is uh, a 2 one to see his jump, and he's got 87 stamina, 89 strength, 94 aggression. As you see by traits, he's actually got the outside foot shot traits, and flair. Again, stuff that certain attackers on this game actually lack. But guys, we're going to jump in the gameplay now, show what Marcel is all about. Just a fair warning, gameplay for these kind of reviews aren't always long because, again, in the formations I played him is, he was left back and he was left mid in the 3-5-2. So again, you can't get always get the clips that you guys want or kind of the showcase because some people could go down the other side of the pitch. So that's what happens with like full backs and centre backs, etc, etc. But guys, we're going to jump in right now. Let's see what he did offer for myself. So here we go on into the gameplay. Now guys, you know Marcelo and you know what he's all about in past FIFA. He's been really, really good, but... He hasn't been good for a number of years now. Marcelo gets a chance here, goes inside the box. I tried to, to do a kind of cross there, but it's a little bit delayed on the, the kind of animation to do the cross. But Marcelo, for me, I found him in good areas. Now, you see what he did there? I liked what he did there because he showed his aggression. He showed that high attack and work rate, and he got in there, got the challenge, job done. You know what I'm saying? He got it done, and that's what this card does. He gets it done. Again, high press on him. Uh, he does like a front flip there or something, but he did win the ball back, and then he shouts at the referee, gets back in position, uh, and uh, can go on across. But I did the directional nutmeg there. Actually, give us a chance. I should have borrowed that earlier, man. Long strides, and I do lose the ball. Nathan Aki on the ball. He passes it to Cannavaro, and Cannavaro spreads it wide. Again, right now, I believe I'm playing the 3 5 2. Uh, sensational ball by Marcelo. Saul. You gotta love that finish, man. So, again, he did get one assist in the three games I did play. Uh, that was the assist. Lovely ball by Marcelo playing uh, on that left mid position. 
And again, a fantastic ball over the top, and it's a lovely little finish. He receives the ball here, and I've, I've got to showcase some of these just for his dribbling and directness. Nice little ball roll on that, and again, blocks are blocks in this game. A lot of players will get the blocks, and just, just what happens in this game. AI blocks, uh, kind of what this game's based on, isn't it? Nice little ball out wide to Marcel. You notice saying stamina is quite low, but again, this is really the back end of the game. I should have scored that. Um, yeah, his, his stamina, was that was literally like the 88th minute. So if you're worried about his stamina, He's only going to deplete stamina-wise if you have him in a demanding position. And the position I had him in that match was 3 5 2, so a left mid. And um, yeah, he had to. It was a pretty. It, that is a position, left mid and 3 5 2, that demands a lot of work from getting forward to getting back to two and both of them at the same time. It's like a yo yo at times, and this will be the last clip I did get. Again, aggression to get in there, get the challenge, try a long shot. Didn't happen. Just didn't happen. Couldn't get a goal with this guy, but he contributed well to the team. So, guys, let's get in to the summary. So, there we have it, lads. That was Marcelo in some of his glory. Not all his glory, because, again, these kind of reviews on the night. I'd love to play, like, 10, 20 games of the cards. But um, in order to get you guys watching and giving you guys the content that you want, I need to get it out on the night. I'm not going to do it after, like, an hour or something like that. That's just crazy. But um, Marcelo was good. Marcelo was good for me. The sticking point will be with this card is the price. You guys know that. The thing is, once upgrades come out, I'm talking about maybe La Liga packs. Again, a lot of high rate players in that division. Busquets, not in touch. Um, who else? Goalkeepers? Uh, Cotswan? Uh, to Stegen, yeah, you got some high rates in there, like PK and stuff like that. You could possibly potentially craft this guy over time due to upgrade packs. And again, that's probably what I would suggest. I, I wouldn't suggest sinking 720k in at to an SPC like Marcelo. I, I, I just wouldn't, lads. I, I don't know why um, it's this kind of price. When I seen his price, I, I was kind of taken aback. But then when you compare it to the fellow left-backs in uh, that division, maybe like a, a Mendy, for example, Mendy is a lot more expensive right now. But the interesting thing is, in objectives for season, I want to say season 5, but I've got no idea what season we're in on FIFA, because I never get to level 30. But if you guys get to level 30 on this season, the brand new objectives and stuff like that, on the objective season bit, guys, basically, there is a Renan Ladoli, level 30. It's like a 90 rate card. If you want a Brazilian left back, probably go for Renan Ladoli over time, but you've got to take into consideration that will be a long time in the future, maybe three weeks, four weeks. <laughs> that's, that's like end game, you know what I'm saying? So Marcelo, is he an end game card? The, the answer to that is yes, he's fantastic. He, he, he's quick, he's fantastic at that. He's tackling the sensational interceptions, dribbling, you see it all across the bottom of the screen, passing, aggression, stamina, ball control, and he's wing player. This means he's wide player. So again, he contributes to the attacking senses of the left-hand side so, so well. Could he play in a different position? It's very difficult to say with this card due to his work rates. Uh, I'd love to play this card at CDM if you had high medium or medium medium or something like that. But high low, it kind of puts me off playing him in that position. So again, there is things that work against this card, but I think it's a fantastic card. Is he worth the price over time, potentially, if you do the upgrades right now? Not too certain. He's going to get an overall rating of a 9.7 from myself. Fantastic card in this game. Sensational card in this game. You look at his stats. I mean, how can he not be good? And he actually is good in game as well. And he provided a lot for the team. He provided a lot of width as well. Especially when I switched into 3 5 2. He's sensational at wide. Uh, whipping crosses in, doing through balls, doing all the good stuff, basically, is what he did after. But by the way, if I keep looking up there, boys, uh, it's Newcastle Leicester. Um, I did this commentary, and this is why it's up so late tonight. Uh, during half time, well, I tried to. It's the second half's already kicked off, boys. Newcastle 2 0 up against Leicester. Let's go! Wait, that could be free. It could be. No, it's not free. Uh, basically, this card is fantastic. If you can't afford him, wait. Wait for more fodder and try and get basically what you purchase off the market. Basically, on this card, I spent maybe 40,000 coins, 100,000 coins. Liquids, and that was off the, the, the amount of coins I've got. The rest is fodder in my club. So if you can get the fodder for this guy and bring the price dramatically down, then do the card. He's fantastic that way. But if not, it's probably one of those that you'll swear. The value of coins I'm giving Marcelo will be an 8.6. I do see the value in this card. I do see how good he is. But, dude, come on. What, what, it's me. It's the month of me, man. Just chill. Bring the prices down. Let people have fun in this game. This is a little bit too expensive. Well, actually, it's extremely expensive if you're 
you put a lot into consideration but the enjoyment is there with this card 9.8 is what he's gonna get because as a fullback he actually offers you a lot that you're looking for even as a wide player three five two uh, skills dribbling passing tackling distress at last he's got it all he's even got the pace as well and the merriam will be a 9.4 and the reason it's not like uh, a 10 a 9.8 or something like that is the low defensive work rate man you've got to you've got to kind of consider at the end of the day he actually is a left back so that is where the majority of people are going to play him but um if you do get caught in the attack he's not going to bust his guts to get back and defend but guys it's going to be it for this review thank you very much for watching hopefully you guys have watched anyways but uh again if you do want to see anyone else reviewed on the channel simply drop in the comment section below and i'll look to get around to doing that asap because you've seen the players adding the start suarez will probably be the next one actually i really enjoyed that card but guys thank you very much for watching like comment subscribe hope newcastle win i get some praise from newcastle in the chat actually by the time you've watched this, Newcastle have probably already lost. But thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great rest of your night, and I'll catch you all tomorrow.